Well, after verifying that uh, this colony here is indeed queenless and uh, a failed attempt to uh, get it a queen uh, by giving it uh, a frame of brood to develop its own queen, it did not uh, develop its own queen. So earlier today I went in and checked. Indeed, there's no queen, no laying, no nothing. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scavenge this colony uh, by creating a shook swarm out of it and giving those bees um, to um, a couple of other colonies. Now, I'm actually gonna do two shook swarms out of this. It is not a ton of bees. You can probably just do one shook swarm out of this. Uh, but I have a couple colonies I wanna give bees to, so I'm gonna give this to two um, colonies. Okay. Yeah, this is probably not a good day to be doing this, but I'm doing it nonetheless. Not a lot in here. It's just a shame that there's no eggs in this at all. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So I got half the bees in this one. And now we'll work on this one. What a shame that there is no brood in these. Okay, well, hokey dokey. Okay. Okie dokie. We got a good number of them in there. Spray them down. what's going on here. Okay. That's it. This colony right here in the in the middle which had a failing queen for the longest time. Actually, it was a mated queen that just never did anything, and I replaced her with another mated queen, and this mated queen is laying up a storm, so that's really good. So this will give that colony a boost, this middle colony a boost of bees. And what I'll end up doing is I'll put a just an empty shell on top here. I'll put newspaper down, put an empty shell on top, dump the bees in, wet the newspaper, put a lid on, let them chew through the paper and combine. And, uh, you know, uh, it'll take them a day or so to go through there. I'll keep them in the garage for a day. Uh, 
they'll join and everything will be harmonious. I'll do the same to a colony over there that's got a really nice laying queen in it, but not a ton of bees and give them a boost as well. So that's, uh, that's the fall plan for Shook's worms. And uh, so that's the fall plan for Shook's worms. Uh, I've done this before last year to good success. Uh, this year, I didn't do it quite like I normally do it. Usually I take the bees right out of the honey supers. And this year I just put the clearing boards on and let them clear out. And the end result being, I had bees swarm on me. Um, and I should have not, never done that. I should have taken the shook swarms off them, which takes the, the, uh, the will of them to want to swarm too many miles to feed, reduces the numbers, lets them build up a good nest and then I can use those colonies to boost mating nukes or, or smaller nucleus colonies. Uh, didn't do that this year and I paid the price by losing three, uh, three hives to swarms. So, um, live and learn, but I can still utilize that colony there um, and help boost this colony, which, you know, probably had a 50-50 chance of surviving the winter. That colony, same thing with uh, smaller numbers but this giving them ability to collect nectar and pollen and uh, cover brood so that they can build a really strong winter nest. That's the key. These aren't very strong shook swarms, but it'll, it'll give a good amount of bees. There's a pile of them underneath there, underneath the lid. Okay, so it's a day later. Uh, I took these, put them in the garage overnight. Uh, I gave them a little bit of food here with uh, some candy, uh, set it on the screen, tipped it upside down. I also treated both hives for oxalic acid uh, with oxalic acid vapor, um, knocked the mites down. And uh, right now what we're gonna do, I've got this hive here, which has uh, got a new queen um, just starting her brood building and I've got a pile of bees here many of which are new nurse bees this colony has been without nurse bees for quite some time uh, so the bees that are in there are older and doing the best they can but uh, giving it a boost of nurse bees uh, well it can only help now these are from the same yard I, you saw where I where I shook it out yesterday um, Will the, some bees try to go back, uh, foragers go back to the original location? Uh, I would probably guess that they would. Um, but um, kind of hoping for the best, hope the nurse bees stay put and just combine with this hive and help this hive out. And that's, that's the ultimate goal. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lid off of here, uh, take the uh, flexible inner cover off and then put this shell on top over a piece of newspaper spray it down with water pretty good and uh, and then put the shook swarm on top of this uh, it's just a good way to uh, make use of a um, non-productive hive uh, many people would ask well why don't you just add the frames on top uh, which I really, really could have done. But I don't want a 5 over 5 over 5 hive going into winter. Uh, I want 10 frames of honey with a, a nice size um, cluster, but not overly large cluster going into winter, and that will be plenty of honey for them to go uh, to over winter. Uh, adding extra space in the winter is more area for them, more volume for them to have to heat, and I don't want that. I've tried triples in winter, and it just doesn't work. And mostly it doesn't work. What happens is in, in March, bees move off uh, the cluster and they get caught away from the main cluster on a cold night. And then both uh, clusters end up freezing because there's not enough bees to cover. So I would rather have them compact in a, in a five over five uh, nucleus colony uh, rather than five over five over five. That's my, um, that's my plan. Um, my, work differently where you're at, but for here, uh, I found that that has um, given me the most success that I can have. So let's get going.
Okay. Okay. Spray this down. It'll be easier for them to chew through the paper uh, if it's good and wet. Plus it gives them a little bit of moisture. A um, little bit of water to, uh, to take in. Okay, so we got that. Uh, I am going to throw this little disc of uh, get that wasp out of the way sugar down there now I can I will try to cut just a couple of holes I'm not I want it to be a slow um, combination I don't want them to go through that paper too fast now we'll spray these down There's not a ton of bees in here, but it'll add a good boost. Um, not my typical shook swarm at all. Kind of enough to keep them from flying. And there we go. I'll take you, I'll show you a little bit. Well, good pile of bees in there. Okay, and then I'll put the inner cover on, get the wasp out of there. And then put the lid on. And that, as they say, is that. This will combine and then I'll end up taking this off uh, in a, another day or so and uh, just putting a lid on and letting them do their thing. Okay, this nucleus colony right here uh, has been laying for some time, but it didn't have a ton of bees so she can only lay so much. Uh, so giving them a boost of bees uh, is pretty good. I gave them the lion's share of the bees to the other colony this one just needs a boost to cover more brood and uh, allow it to uh, head on into winter with a strong colony. Wasps, 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 lots of wasps. Okay. Okay. I'll set the little disc of sugar down there just to give them something. And then we'll spray them down.
Okay. I'll put that on. Didn't wet them down enough. Okay, yeah, I didn't really wet them down enough, but it's a good boost for this colony right here, if you can see that. So we'll just have some lost bees for a bit. And we'll put the... Okay. There we go. And they will find their way as they see fit. Okay, I will come back in a day and uh, we'll see how these, uh, these bees have combined. I'll remove the shells and uh, the bees will kind of be on their own.